Every day in Los Angeles, 450 million gallons of sewage makes its way through a 469 square mile area, all the way to Hyperion Treatment Plant. That's disgusting. But in LA, waste doesn't go to waste. The city's groundbreaking sewage system wins high marks by going the extra mile in wastewater treatment. As millions of toilets flush and sinks drain across the city, this amazing 6,500-mile megastructure channels 95% of all that man-made wastewater to this one spot, Hyperion, the largest sewage treatment facility on the West Coast. Every day, the amount of raw sewage that flows into Hyperion could fill 780 Olympic-sized swimming pools. And some of it comes from as far away as 55 miles. In a network of tunnels and pipes this enormous, it's inevitable that something will go wrong. Burst pipes, clogs, overflows, you name it. And when dealing with raw sewage, the effects of a break can be deadly. There have been cases when people have fell into sewage have died within a matter of weeks because of their exposure to sewage, either swallowing it or getting it through various openings in their body. People, particularly in this country, have never experienced diseases like cholera and typhoid, but those organisms are out there. Millions of gallons of wastewater flow from private homes under neighborhood streets and through a vast network of increasingly large pipes that converge at the Hyperion Sewage Treatment Plant in Playa del Rey. Hyperion has 20 2.5 million gallon capacity digesters. Inside the digesters, bacteria living in this anaerobic environment are agitated by pumps and mixers. As they slowly break down the sludge, intense heat inside the digesters works to destroy virtually all disease-causing pathogens. As this nasty soup ferments, carbon dioxide and methane gas are released. And since little goes to waste at Hyperion, this byproduct is put to good use. The methane gas is collected and used to produce energy that powers nearly 85% of the entire facility. In stage one of secondary treatment, the wastewater spends up to two hours mixed together with several hundred tons of added microorganisms that consume the organic matter remaining in the water. Unlike the one-celled organisms in the digesters, these microbes require oxygen, 96% pure oxygen. The highly concentrated oxygen is pumped into the secondary tanks, energizing the bacteria into a feeding frenzy. In just a couple of hours, the hyperoxygenated microbes have devoured all the remaining organic material in the wastewater. Thanks to diligence and innovation, one of the largest sewer systems in the world is staying ahead of the tide, ensuring that any wastewater that comes in goes back out into the environment much cleaner than when it entered the sewers. Now, to prove just how clean the water coming out of Hyperion is, I'm about to take the plunge with Hyperion employee Mike Dinius. So I understand we're going to be going out into the water. Yeah, I'm going to go do a little body soaking right now. And this is going to be the ultimate litmus test to basically show that what's coming out of this plant is clean. Perfectly safe for us. Much of the surfing craze that developed uh, in the 1960s is centered around uh, California and this, particularly the beaches in Southern California and, and the use of those for surfing, for fishing, for boating and so on. It's a vital part of the, the thing that makes life here in Southern California nice. 